KCB stocks just dropped crazily and most people are selling and of course that's why the drop is happening a lot of investors are getting out of KCB stock and as you know me I always come here and tell you the truth about what stocks you should buy especially in Kenya abroad or even if you should be buying stocks at all anyways so KCB stocks dropped crazy right but the most crazy thing is that most people are now selling or getting out of that position if you are holding KCB stocks, and it is one of the stocks I always watch for, you need to hold on to that stock. So this video is basically telling you, hey, remember the rule don't lose money don't don't lock in the losses because the moment you get out when it is falling you are locking in those losses but if you don't get out you are basically still in the game and it will always rebound so this is not the time to panic to fear they always say be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful if you want to stay in the game if you want to make money in stock market if you want to make money in stock trading if you want to know how to invest in different things, remember Ken's Money Matters is here for you. Always check out my website www.kensmoneymatters.com. We can do a quick consultation. We can do a proper consultation where we sit down and look at your finances. We can also look at investment options that are available for you. We can look at personal finances, money management, uh, you know, career options and stuff like that, income. Whatever it is that you want to look at around money, remember to look at Ken's Money Matters. Otherwise, let's jump in and look at what is happening to KCB and why the rush by investors to get out. The stocks dropped uh, quite severely and this because KCB posted a drop in profit. Now this happens a lot in Kenya. A company posts their profit. It happens everywhere of course when a company posts their profit people want to get out but in the West the analysis is actually usually done in a much better way in that you're told clearly there's just a drop in profit that could be due to so many other factors that you haven't uh, one not foreseen or cannot happen again or won't happen again you know so in that sense it doesn't mean a drop in profit is a loss really kcb has been performing tremendously well one of the banks that i really vouch for in kenya it's been getting really nice inroads into other countries it's been expanding it's been doing loads of uh, startup investments as well on the side so i i believe kcb is one of the banks you want to put your money in if you are investing in stocks in kenya and i always say if you're investing in stocks in kenya you should definitely have some banks bank stock in your portfolio because some of our strongest sectors is the banking sector or the financial sector because of the growth that we are experiencing as a country the fact that we are still developing there's so much growth that is yet to be uh, realized when it comes to the banking sector especially when looking at fintech and banks that are also taking over the these uh, new technologies to try and improve their efficiency try and improve how they do business and to try and scale using the new technologies so guys kcb profit drops from 19 billion to around 15 billion uh 15.5 billion in within a six month period and that is as compared to previous periods so from 19.5.7 to 15.5 now that's not the big deal the fact is most investors are now being fearful and getting out of the market and we're going to see how the stocks dropped for kcb but i'm also going to explain why this is not the time to get out of the market so kcb group has reported a 20 percent net profit drop in the six months ended june weighed down by staff restructuring costs which makes sense they've done so much of restructuring in terms of staff and the tripling of provisioning for loan defaults these are non-performing loans so this usually affects the performance of a lender and a big lender like kcb it went back to 19 uh 15.5 billion from 19.5 billion posted in the similar in a similar period now the operating expenses of course increased by 60 percent to 50 0.6 billion in the period uh, that they were provisioning for these non-performing loans so anyway i don't want to go into details of their finances or the financials of kcb at this particular time those are things that you analyze before you buy a stock but if we look at the screen let's look at the drop in the last few days all right uh, as you can see this chart this is may so let's look at 
when they just uh, released the information. This was on Thursday. On Wednesday, it closed at 26.9 share price and dropped to 23.8. Now that drop was due to that kind of news, but KCB has dropped. Look at that on August. And I know this is what is making people more fearful. Let's look at the six months period. You can see a very clear trend down, which most stocks in Kenya are doing really bad right now. Uh, we have Williamson T, which also dropped quite uh, stay, uh, quite stiffly. We also have Orchard, which also dropped quite stiffly. So it's not the only stock that is dropping right now in Kenya. Now let's look at one year. You can see clearly that KCB was at 40, uh, 42 high peak of around September last year, 2022, and we are now at 23. That is a major, major drop. Okay, so now again, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's look at year to date. Year to date again, you can see the performance hasn't been good. Let's look at all time. Now, all time you can see how stocks move. I am not the biggest proponent of having stocks in Kenya without other financial um, investments, which I make very clear. I say, you know what, guys, if you want to invest in Kenya, stocks might not be the best place to start or might not be the best place for you if you are not aware of how that environment works. As you can see, it fluctuates a lot. It's really volatile. Okay. But the volatility also shows you something very important that however low it comes, like it came here in January of 2017, it was low at 25, 23, sorry, that's the lowest it's been. And now we are going to 20. Five. So we're going to the lowest point. And why should you be buying KCB now? Because if we hit that point or around this point where we are right now, when they stabilize and things get back to normal, they might go a little beyond. Of course, you can never tell. But chances are they hit that same level, they're going to rebound. They're going to rebound and rebound strong. Uh, you can see the highest level that they have done is 64 a share. If they rebound from this 25 and goes up to even 50, that's a decent earn. So what I'm saying, don't get out of the market because the knife is falling. You will catch a falling knife, it will cut you. Let it be. And this is the time to stock up on more stocks if you are someone who is bullish on KCB or on banks generally in Kenya. This is the time to actually stock up on stocks. The business side of KCB is still doing well. Okay, but before we get to that, so... market outstanding so let's look at the performance before we get into that so as you can see the stock has performed one week was 13 percent four weeks 16 percent three months 20 minus 25 six months minus 38 one year minus 45 damn man this has really buttered the investors but again i say hold on don't get out don't get out of kcb right now it will be bad for you and bad for your portfolio but you can see the bad performance of this and this is not just because kcb is doing badly i i can say that for sure this is due to some other factors outside kcb's control and i believe in this talk i believe that they have a good business model i believe they'll rebound so i'm a strong believer of kcb as a stock as a business and i know they will rebound i know that their business plan and business model is solid I'm not really sure because we recently, you know, saw a change in the guard in KCB. There have been a lot of restructuring. The, uh, the new management, I know it's going to take time to settle in. But this is a stock that you would want to have in your portfolio if you are investing in stocks in Kenya. Remember, investment or investments are individual based on your goals, on objectives, on what you want to achieve out of them and on your plans as well. Right. Is it long term? Is it medium term? Is it short term plan and stuff like that? This one is a long-term plan, in my opinion. Medium-term to long-term plan when you're investing in KCB. Not a short-term plan, not for a trader. So if you want to know what kind of investments are available for you, if you want to know what is best for you as a person, something personalized, always reach out to me. I'm available. But yes, right now, this is not the time to jump out of KCB. This is just a drop in profit. Does not mean that their modus operandi has changed and therefore it's going to be a failing company. Poor performance, yes, within the last one, two years, but which company didn't? Anyway, a lot of companies are now rebounding, and we also hope that KCB is going to rebound at some point. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is just me helping you make some decisions based on my knowledge. If you want specific financial advice, you have to look for me so that I can look at your circumstances 
and give you something more personalized. Until next time, I'm out.